we doing today, boys and girls? It's Iron Wings 318 Subin coming at you with a short video. Sorry if it's a little quiet. So today I have spent most of the day reloading 45 long colt. It's kind of something that has to be done off screen at the moment because of YouTube's policy guidelines. Um, I've just been doing this all day because I recently inherited a Ruger Blackhawk from my grandfather. And unfortunately I don't have any 45 long colt in stock it's kind of hard to find now I guess so I decided I was going to start loading some up I have a lot of brass have some primers I just needed the dies so that's what I've been doing all day I have about 200 rounds of 45 long colt already loaded up um and the reason I started loading it up is not just for my Ruger Blackhawk. It's also, if you are aware, I'm a fan of Rossi firearms. I recently picked up a Rossi 92 in 357. I also picked up one in 45 Long Colt just to match that Ruger Blackhawk. Issue being, I didn't have any ammo, so I got the dies, all this other crap. And when I got these dies... I said about reloading, and after I brought this rifle home, I set it in my safe. It's sat there for roughly 15 days while I waited for this order to get shipped, arrive, everything else. Once I get this ammo loaded up, I decide I'm going to make a little trip to the range tomorrow. I take the rifle out of my safe, work the lever a few times to see how gritty it is, if I need to, take it apart before I take it to the range, work on the action, sand it down some. That way I can try and smoothen it out. I also wanted to see if it needs massive amounts of cleaning because you never know with any firearms you get new how dirty they're going to come from the factory. They could be bone dry or soaked in cosmoline or soaked in oil. You just don't know. So I worked the lever a few times and... Unfortunately, I can't show you this, and I can't say this is a review, because I can't review something that isn't in front of me. Um, so yeah, with this rifle, after working the lever a few times, the cartridge guide and stop combination on the left-hand side of the inside of the receiver froze the action up. I don't know why. Shine a flashlight inside the receiver... And the cartridge stop is bent at almost a 90 degree angle. So, I go ahead and start taking the rifle apart to figure out what's going on. Funny thing about it. As soon as I start taking it apart, the cartridge stop completely frees itself from the cartridge guide and is rattling around inside the action. Turn it upside down, it falls out on its own. So... At this point, I'm pretty disappointed because I have no clue what happened. I think maybe the pin, roll pin came loose, but I examined the cartridge stop and the pin's still attached to it. When I break the rifle down, inside it turns out the metal tabs that loop around this uh, roll pin and secure this cartridge stop in place had sheared off, making the rifle inoperable. Now, you could theoretically still run the rifle, um... The issue is there's nothing to stop the cartridge in the magazine from feeding onto the cartridge elevator unto, and messing with the timing of that actual rifle. Now, I know there's going to be some individuals out there who are going to say, well, it's a Rossi. What do you expect from your rifle? But the th funny thing about that is I've owned quite a few Rossi rifles. I own an RS-22M. I own a Rossi Tuffy in 22 and 410. I own a Rossi Trapper in thir uh, 357. A lot of different rifles, and Rossi has never presented any issues with me before. In fact, the Rossi company, Brass Tech, was actually quite hospitable with their customer service. The first time I talked to them, they were willing to send me a stock for a youth rifle for my Rossi Tuffy that I custom fit, and it allowed me to use it in a traditional rifle instead of just a pistol grip. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, not germane to this conversation. 
The reason I'm making this video is, like I said, Rossi has kind of improved in quality in recent years. I've trusted their brand. Um, not for anything super life-threatening, just kind of fun guns, something I might enjoy. Um, and the issue I currently have is the fact that when I purchase a firearm, I kind of believe an individual should have the expectation that they will at least be able to shoot it before it breaks. So at this point in time, the cartridge guide and the cartridge stop are both in an envelope secured on the way back to Rossi with a letter requesting they go ahead and send me the replacement part. Now there's been some reading I've done online where people say that these need to be hand fit to the rifle and I'm fully capable of that. Um, the funny thing is, a lot of people think you need to send things back to the factory to get fit, but more often than not, you can accomplish the same thing with some fine diamond files and a few other tools around your house as long as you don't touch Dremel. No, my real issue is this happened before I even managed to shoot the rifle. And I don't know. It just kind of, I don't even really know how to describe it. It didn't put me in a bad mood so much. I mean, of course it did. A firearm being broken is going to irritate anyone. Especially when you spend money on it. But, I don't know what to say here, really. <laughs> That's the funny thing. I'm kind of at a loss of words with this situation just because, I mean, realistically, I've never had a firearm break on me before I got to shoot it. And I, I know this is going to just feed into the guys hating on Rossi for um, their quality control, but like I said, I've never had an issue with a Rossi firearm before. This is the first time. And again, there's going to be those guys that just argue once bitten, you know, don't trust them. But I don't really see that. I see maybe a, like, maybe a flaw, maybe a once kind of thing, but if it happens again, then we'll have issues. Because like I said, I've owned about a half dozen Rossi firearms and never had an issue up to this point with them. No. Um, the reason I don't want to send the rifle in why I'm just sending the part and requesting it get sent back to me, this is where I was going earlier, is because in the past I've heard horror stories about Rossi's customer service and warranty repairs. Um, there is a series on the Rossi RS... 22M rifle, which is their semi-automatic 22 Magnum rifle to match Savages, and someone had an excessive chamber, uh, basically it was a little too wide open, caused their cartridges to swell in a separate case, uh, several cases, case head separation in a rim fire, which is pretty bad since the entire case head is what causes extraction, that sort of thing. And when they sent it back to Rossi, the same error kept happening. The same issue kept happening. Um, they said it was repaired from Rossi. And on top of that, you have to take it back to the gun, gun store where you bought it from and send it from them to Rossi. Which, yeah, I'm not a big fan of. So, if they're willing to present me with the part, give me the part, send it back to me, I'll work with that. You know, that's not the best case scenario because... This shouldn't have happened to begin with, but I just felt like making this video to let you guys know this is kind of what's happening with a product I own. Maybe to avoid it, but I will also let you know in the future because there's the potential Rossi may want to try and get this resolved quickly. Especially with the issue of it never having been fired before this happened. And the potential for a massive lawsuit in that if this had happened to someone, let's say... It's not uncommon for these Rossies to go out into the field for hunting purposes, let's say. Someone goes out with their forty five long colt, they're hunting, they get attacked by a bear. What happens if this happens where they go to rack around into the chamber and all of a sudden the cartridge stop breaks and it freezes the gun up? Or someone's using this to defend their home because there are guys who use lever action still to defend their home, go to rack around into the chamber and cartridge stops and he gets shot so you never know um i might put uh i might end up uh, if i could speak tonight that would be great 
I might upload an update for you guys to let you know what's going on, how Rossi decides to handle this, because I believe moving forward, depending on how they decide to handle this, is what I will use to determine if I continue to purchase Rossi products, because... As I've stated, and I'm going to continue to state because I don't want anyone using this experience to feed their bias towards hating Rossi, I have had nothing but good experiences with this company in the past, but I am being a little cautious in this situation just because I've heard bad things and I've heard good from their customer service. I've had a good experience, but only had to have one experience before, so... One experience does not make a pattern. So, with that out of the way, this has been Iron Wings 3187. Thank you guys for listening and watching my story. I just hope to have a better update for you in the near future.